Hello and welcome back to the show. We've got TSM versus Titan on Overpass coming up next. TSM are the team at home. Titan looking strong. Titan taking it over uh, Envy yesterday. I think it was 16-11 on uh, Mirage they did. So uh, don't count them out by any means. Again, they've had a very, very rough start. The roughest of starts to the face at League in Stage 3. But they are on uh, winning form now. A bit of a boost to the team. And of course... If I'm not mistaken, Scream had 22 frags and 21 of them were headshots than 95.5% accuracy yesterday. If you, if you talk to me about headshot percentage, I will murder you. Scream. I don't care. When I'll it comes you. to Scream, you talk about headshot percentages. Uh, no, but I will, I will, I will murder Dan, you. Dan, 95.5% headshots is worthy of respect. Oh my god. Pistol Please round, don't. Titan with three people going into the connector area. But there are many players upstairs for TSM. The play has been thwarted. The last time these two teams played this map, TSM managed to win 16-5. TSM are on a 22-0 map winning streak. And they will kick off the T-Pistol with a nice kill already. Cajun B will take down a player and TSM will find themselves with an open A bombsite. And this is actually the hardest bombsite to retake. So this is a very bad situation for Titan right now. There's they no getting around it. They must have been playing for a retake here to have nobody spotting A at all. So they must have had a plan. However, you can have a plan, but if you get shot in the head, that plan's not going to go your way. Man advantage for TSM as these final nades come in. RPK with no Kevlar is going to get taken down by a device, leaving Scream alone. He's going to need to bring those headshots not to be. So whatever the plan was from Titan, an experimental pistol round maybe, did not work out for them. I mean, i got to say, you... you, you you, you can play retake B, but playing retake A is really difficult. Really, really difficult, I think, in most in most cases, in the majority of cases. Pistol rounds are usually a little bit different, the way the dynamics work, but still, uh, definitely a good round there from TSM. Oh. And that's the right click onto Cajun B. Oh, that hurts. Down to 39 damage. HP. How do you say sorry in Danish? Somebody tweet me. 61 damage, my goodness. Uh, I, 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 with all these deeks as well, that's now turned it into like they just have to like hit one shot to his torso and he's dead yep so that's actually kind of pa painful to be honest and they are lurking all over the place these tight guys and they are pretty damn good at pistols so gotta be careful about this and we already have a uh, carrigan moving in close oh no 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 <laughs> what <laughs> happened there that, that had to be an accident that had to be an accident I think his mouse will maybe spazzed out there, but he's going to cost him his life. And now again with Cajun B tagged, he is lurking because he's probably scared of that. He might die and give something up. Who knows where this is going? Well, that's a good three kills for TSM. And this round may be closed out now. No kit on these remaining players. RPK has been spotted and been eliminated. Scream remains. Scream. He will scream no more. So Karrion uh, is claiming his, his surprise to, to find existence in that position. Maybe it was a deliberate then. People yeah. like to play, Dan. The, it's, it sounds so nice when you reveal your knife. People like to do it. And TSM, they still have the the Mac 10s and the MP7 in play. So they will have a lot of opportunity to build more money in this round if they, they take it cleanly and get those frags. And they, they can also play very fast with those SMGs, leading the charge into the bomb site. And that's exactly what Vice is doing. He's found a stack though, and he's no, but now he does. He's seen all these players at water and pulls out the 57. Oh my god! Just drilling through the floor there with that 5.7 to find the head of shocks, and that's just Smith's left alive. So, a uh, very successful uh, anti eco here, to be honest. Bomb has been planted. So, 2 to 2. TSM imminently going to take the lead. We will see what comes. Can we have a quick look at the money, actually? Oh, club music, let's go. I guess. I don't actually go to clubs. You know why, Dan? Because I'm a nerd. Ah, Smith was just making a little opening so he can try and pop some heads. But aim punch will be a problem. Trying to strafe. Done a bit. Got the frag after all, but uh, Carrigan with the SMG won't care too much. By coming out for Titan now. Let's see what they will offer their opponents. Smith's going to go AWP. Oh, he's got the Kevlar as well. That's always good to see. Just about. He's got nothing left in the bank. So where is he going to go with it? Heading up for a deep play. He could be going to jump on the bench and look towards the opening to the party area that the T's go to. Or maybe he's going to uh, have a look at long. Either way, Carrigan trying to charge through the flames will get finished off by a scream. A very patient burst fire with that FAMAS. 
Cajun B against Existence now and Connector. Big uh, opportunity potentially for one of these players to control a very important game. Oh, it's Cajun B that gets the kill, unfortunately, for Existence. And unfortunately for Titan as well. Shocks will find himself device though, but another situation going uh, similarly as the Connector with, with that kill on Existence. And TSM are looking really good this round, and that's going to reset Titan more, more or less immediately. Uh, pretty horrendous on Titan, to be honest. So look and see if RPK can try, try to save this somehow. He will hit the stepping of Zipnix, but Zipnix will finish him off and we'll get to see the money now and see quite how bad it is for Titan. Yeah, it's not, it could be worse. It could be worse, obviously. But they have that, uh, that buy bonus in their favor. And uh, yeah, that did throw me off a little bit. I was reading the 14, I was like, when did they win rounds, James? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> it's like they they didn't is the answer. They did not win a round, so it's oh, four zero. I can only assume it, it's the bug, maybe yeah. with GoTV, where when you switch the team logos, it messes up the score until the other side wins an actual round, then it resets. So we will have to see. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> I, I can't believe I didn't spot that. But anyway, now we know. So TSM just playing their anti eco again, looking for the five zero score. And ooh, that's a nice shot there from Smith. Vice will go down, and he was playing the lurk more or less, just trying to catch any players doing moves like that. And uh, that's an AK for Smith. Now, I think Titan, oh sorry, yeah, TSM should be overly concerned about eliminating this AK. To be honest, I think uh, keeping the uh, the integrity on their economy is is going to still be like this stage. Especially considering we have a little bit of a setup here, and RPK is now going to claim himself weapons. So now maybe this they could start thinking about trying to kill some of these players, but. Well, existence is still lurking, so if they will go on the hunt, then he's in a flank position. He's going for it, but Zipnix will shut him down. So Titan should uh, survive with these two weapons. RPK has Kevlar as well and a flashbang, so carrying a fair bit of money. In fact, 7.5k on the Titan team at present. So another opportunity to get their first round on the board. Don't be confused, guys. It is 5-0 to TSM at the moment. Just a GoTV bug which will fix itself should Titan win a round. So they haven't bought anything yet. Very late buy coming in, which means they won't be doing anything with uh, their spawns. We'll be late out of spawn itself. Zimnix is going to throw that to Molotov towards short B to stop the T's from taking over the uh, sewer area, which is very strong for them to hold. You see the same play from uh, Seized and Navi as well. There it is. Dupree's going to abuse the fact that so it's open, at least fire B. Scream though, very patient play again. Gonna trade. Here we go. Well, this is four in the TSM. Don't have everybody in the same place. We've got a bit of a going on here. The Cajun B is gonna finish off shocks. But the trade comes in from Scream. So three versus three now in Titan. Titan still none the wiser of where the bomb is going to finish. And this is a little bit awkward, especially if uh, the T's get very close to the Titans. A bomb site before they spot them, and that's a quick kill on Dismiss that it could make the difference that it was so fast. And there's so many one on ones here that have been going the way of TSM. They've been finding so many one on ones, and that's really playing to their advantage. Kerrigan picks up another kill there, and. First kill, rather. You saw uh, when Smith peaked long. He QQ'd before he went to peak. Uh, he fired a shot and could QQ'd before he went to peak toilets. And then he couldn't fire his gun. Which makes me wonder if that's a tick from him being obviously an AWPA most of the time. Where he would normally do that with the AWP. Because he didn't need to do that, do that with the rifle. And the fact he did that just made him a standing target with, no, with nothing to fire back with. Just a little nuance there. Speaking of AWPs, Smith will be on the AWP as well as Carrigan in this round. Or being favoured towards uh, upper here for the Titan side. Can commonly see it being played towards the monster tunnel as well, though it can be uh, countered by fast plays through the monster tunnel. quite cool to see from Titan. Of course, it does allow them to exert a little bit of pressure towards Connector, and also it lets them know if there is going to be play pretty much for sure. Wow, they're going to push straight through Monster and pick up a frag, and they're going to, uh, by doing so, kind of uh, work out that they have caught TSM at the back end of a rotation towards a new plan, which is towards the A bomb site, which is where Device just died against the Orp of Scream. Sorry, Orp of Scream, Orp of Smith. Good shot there from Carrigan, though, to eliminate existence. So a bunch more players left, 
And it does look like TSM are going to lose this round. This is a very, very hard spot. So they need to try to get damaged at the very least. If they want to continue the terrorization of the Titan side. They have to get some damage here. So the terrorists win. And there it is. There's the round that uh, has not gone onto the board. And we can see that it is a 6-1 scoreline indeed. So that is working again. And uh, this is a... An interesting position now because TSM they didn't build up a huge amount of money. So Titan only have to win one more round to force them to eco and allow themselves to generate a good bit of stability. Now, are they going to keep playing aggressive sewers? Because I really like that, and uh, it is something that TSM can, can exploit as well. So, wow. Smith's changing things up now. Always good to have a regular rotation of your AWP to get early advantages like that. Scream caught with a nade in his hand. Uh, two players to uh, fight with. RPK coming in to do what he can. There's still a lurker in the sewer. Meanwhile, three players to TSM, maybe with a, a call from that short play. Coming in towards Monster Tunnel, the nade, the AK, going to clear out this round maybe for the uh, TSM side. Existence is in a position of power, but for how long? There are multiple heavily tagged players here for TSM. This could go either way. Smith goes down. Existence soon to follow. Titan back on a reset economy. Oh god, oh god, this is not looking good for Titan at the moment. Again, last time it was a 16-5 scoreline. This time, uh, it, well, let's, I don't want to get go ahead of ourselves here, but of course it's not looking too good. Pretty much the worst case scenario, getting reset in this kind of a kind of position, and they've gone for the force because they have to they have to eco twice anyway, and there's a bit of cash left over, so it makes a lot of sense to stop TSM from building as much economy for free if they were otherwise to just save twice in a row and have a bit too much cash on their uh, final buy rounds. The TSM are just moving fast up into the positions they know are available to them, and the safe ones are a long. And two players up there, they'll make a frag towards toilets. So this looks to be going quite well. There's, where, is the, uh, where is the play here for Titan? Where is the play indeed? They have two rifles left and the 5.7. That's the FAMAS gone, just the M4 now to disappear soon afterwards, leaving Scream the 5-7 and only Kevlar. No frags yet for the side. Finally, one will come in. And that was a very expensive frag for the Titan side, considering what they were carrying at the beginning of that round. Back on the eco now, Titan. Unable to uh, stop TSM in their charge. We've seen TSM dominating a bunch of teams today, yesterday. Well, mainly yesterday, as it's their yep. first game of today. And one thing to note here in this round is that Dupree decided to buy a MAC-10. So this allows Dupree to actually push some of the more scary positions and be the first guy, so that, you know, essentially he gets his team into a bomb site. He can, he can run and shoot. He's the point man. And, and here it is. This, this is exactly the play to follow. He's got that MAC-10. And, oh, <laughs> just going to get a first kill there on the shots. And there is a second one with that SMG as well. He's able to distract and run and be a really annoying target. He'll finally get eliminated, but if this is going to work his way around, he'll get shut down by Zip. Zip next, unfortunately, for the Titan side. And it looks like a very nice anti-eco from TSM. And one thing I've got to say about this is that I feel like the less time you spend in an anti-eco round as a team that has the buy, the better it is for you. That's why I really like teams that take it aggressively with a fast pace. Because you basically give the pissing players like one opportunity to have an engagement instead of multiple opportunities. So, existence, you can see that has surely got to be a tactical pause here. Nine to one lead for team solo mid. And again, they're sitting on a lot of money. Got frags well spread out. And it's worth noting as well, they had Dupree as a point man with the MAC-10 there. But they also had five Molotovs, so uh, they were well equipped to capitalize on their advantage. Yeah, Zenix has died twice so far. Only twice. The uh, second least deaths are fourth on device. As you can see, so yeah, you can really see that uh, TSM are being quite efficient, which of course you know goes to show why Zipnix has almost 16k dollars in the bank. So Titan have played upper like really aggressively. They've played it very very deep, but to what avail? Shox has one frag so far in 10 rounds. Existence only two, so they're just they're not getting the kills here. You know we've had some nice opening frags from from Smiths. But it has not resulted in round conversions. They've got that solitary round on the board here. Only five rounds remaining, so the best they can look, f they can hope for is 9-6. Generally, the CT side is favoured, although we are starting to see more teams play the uh, T side well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, since the update, you know, it's, it definitely was a little bit of a buff to the T sides, just because of the way that the M4s were affected. Uh, the A1 is, is, or was, very, very, very good. 
and uh, teams and uh, certain players have had uh, trouble adjusting here or there. Obviously, it's, it's not. It's definitely not the entire story, but it definitely does buff the T side just a little bit. Anyway, into the next round, nine one, Titan. What are they going to do this time? I, again, I did like the good take. I did like the aggression from the from Smith. RPK is going to take two by himself. He win the battle against Dupree. Very angel esque sort of play there from RPK. And Smith is going to hold down for this aggressively. So Titan have gone with the fearless play with the forward aggression, and it's working for them. Yeah, it's working for them for now. Cajun B is quite heavily tagged as well. Man disadvantage for TSM. Is the bomb known? Well, there's only one play now, so they'll soon know. Zip makes the man who's only died twice. Versus three. I think he's been spotted. That's a very nice tap onto Scream. Bit of a taste of Scream's own medicine there. So he needs to try and find himself another one versus one. He's trying to isolate these CTs, trying to split them up so he can take a favorable engagement. Still a minute on the clock for him to play with here, so we can reset the situation. He can, he can run back to T spawn, go connector, go upper, go upper to connector, go A or go to B. Entirely within his power. Is that door open? Now that is uh, a key point that the door is open actually so he's not going to give any sound cues away should he choose to go towards B here there is a player just to the right or there was in the sewer here comes the peak and the 1v1 has paid off he's going to choose to go towards A the def cam should give existence the information for his team although Smith will now hear Zipnix running above him and start to rotate interesting one-on-one -on -one situation right now this is really hard for Smith if he's not quick enough. Oh no, he's not gonna hit the shot. So he's gonna have to go all the way back if he wants, but he goes for the extra little peek and he'll find Smith. And that will be that. 10 1. 10 1, James. The last time was on, on this map for TSM against Titan was 16 5 with these lineups. So often you see. Well, not often, but. Uh, it used to be often you see 12 3 halves, but that'll be 12 3 3 in favor of the CT side. But a 10-1 half on the T side is uh, definitely a demonstration of prowess on this map. This was the choice of TSM. They are the home team. Titan on the Eco. We'll get one frag so far on two Dupree. TSM taking this Eco a bit slower than previous ones. There is a player deep on A long for the CT side. But I think Device is just holding it down from range. At the moment, Zipnix will be holding elsewhere. Smith with a nice one dig on the device, so that doesn't work out for him. A, a burst through the door from Carrigan, deciding to speed things up now as they move towards the B-bomb site. There's still a screen to deal with. Looking for the one dig there, but he's got a three versus one situation now. With the flank coming in with KGB jumping over the bomb site. So just Smith left. He's picked up an AK. Does he choose to save it or in this situation is he going to go for it? He's close to the bomb site, so one gets the impression he's going to try and push. Yeah, I mean, the thing is about TSM right now is that they are they're hitting this stride where they are feeling the momentum just on a, on a more macro scale rather than the micro scale. Because sometimes, you know, te teams will feel momentum just based off of the day and the performances of the day. But there is also such a thing that can act on you psycho psychologically speaking from a macro perspective where you consistently reinforce the, the good emotions through a lot of results. And that's what Fnatic had for quite a long time. That's what, you know what, one of the reasons why they became one of the most dominant teams. Because once you get on this tear, it almost becomes this unstoppable level of confidence. And TSM was starting to hit that as well. It was such a big streak of wins in all these tournaments too. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> talking about craziness and confidence, James. Five orps on the map, three of which are on the T side. What a change in approach. This is interesting. Carrigan leading the charge with a great flashbang, but he's going to get traded by existence. And uh, neither side will know of the existence of all these orbs, no pun intended. And the funny thing is that with three orbs on the T side, you would expect to see one of them on Carrigan, but no. You would be mistaken. Hey, we have a team where basically everyone can orb. What are you going to do about that? Well, we're about to find out. Five orps on overpass, three of which are on the T side. I've never seen triple orp on the T side of overpass. This is insanity. But will it pay off? There's a man down for both sides. Device creeping up short, and he's going to catch RPK unawares, looking in the wrong direction. But can his team capitalize on this? It's not easy to push aside with three orps there. Absolutely not, but it doesn't matter. Isn't it? We'll make the entry for his team against screen, and they have the B-bomb site. And with all the orps, it's, it's great. I guess, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know really, but the smoke's down, 
doesn't really matter. The train is going by. The passengers of that train must be a little bit surprised to see all these people with sniper rifles. All these guns in the playground. You'd expect skateboarders to be in a in a place like this, but no. Yeah. It's guns down. So 12-1. This is. It doesn't look like TSM can lose rounds. It is unprecedented. It's you so might say. weird. It's hard. It's hard to really. I would have to go. Drama. I would have to go to the demo with this game. There's, there are a lot of games where it's easier. Terrorists because I think a lot of there's a, a lot of situations which might just be going wrong, wrong completely from an individual standpoint, and it kind of falls down like a house of cards. And then there are situations where str the strategic outlook is wrong, or there's. Or, or there's like small tactical misplays or misplays within the synergy on some then CD setups. They've got four scopes now on the T side. Yeah. Because Carrigan's picked up the three. Yeah, so I mean, th that's the thing. Like, I'm not sure which mix of things it is for Titan. But obviously, it's not going too well for them. Firing squad facing the birthday party area. Definitely what you don't want on your birthday. Existence in the connector area. Again, it's a weak hold for Titan towards the A sites. And obviously, this is something Existence is, is experimenting with. It's something I haven't seen before. It's similar to the pistol round almost. They do have a player on the A site this time. But um, I do wonder what the theory behind this is. Hasn't worked out on this occasion. Maybe it requires tweaks. We will see and uh, find out what Titan can do. So, Carrigan, the pusher has gone down. Now we've got three ops all on long to try and uh, take hold of the A site. Shot's going to get traded. Taking down the bias, Zipnix to uh, follow up on him. Down to three versus three now, with one AK on Zipnix. Yeah, it's uh, going to be interesting to see if they can hold this, because they do actually have some good, uh, some good positions to tighten. Don't want to get too aggressive on these angles. Uh, where is the weak point? That is the uh, the question right now. RPK is kind of the, the, guy, the player to catch them, so he doesn't want to tr like directly challenge them. He wants an off angle. <laughs> standing, just generally speaking, in Dupree will get a really nice shot there onto RPK. He'll save his teammate and uh, obviously open up a path. Oh, that's going to get caught here. He's just hanging out, just being kind of the lurking player, being the outmost. And Dupree is going to be sneaky. He's going to go all the way back, scream, thinking, "Oh, it's guys, it's, it's got to be a uh, B." Sorry, Dupree, you sneaky person, you. They've fallen for it, James. KGB running distraction, but his job is done. And the bomb just about goes down oh, no. in time. So, Smith's... Surprise! Oh, dear. It's almost like Very Games versus Complexity at DreamHack Winter way back when. It's the wrong bomb site, guys. We've got to rotate. They've got a bit more time to do this on this occasion. But uh, they are going to go for the save. This is like, I'm at T-spawn. That's very far away. Yeah, a nice, another nice round from TSM there. That that was a lot of like, really good uh, decision making in that three and three. Because in in the mid round there, you, you kind of uh, understand where the uh, the opponents are playing from. So you know RPK becomes the linchpin in in that case for Titan. If RPK makes the frag and stays alive and holds the connector, then they they don't have the ability to actually uh, to go back. But if RPK dies, obviously, then you get this this situation that we just saw where where the the opposite is true, where they can now play. Any amount of rotation games and fakes uh, as, they, as they want. So once RPK dies, like the chance to win the round just plummets massively for the, the CTs there. And sometimes teams don't actually understand how important that player is just to stay alive because you cannot even take a risk. You, you just, just have to sit in connector. The game crashed. If you're wondering why you're looking at us, um, there's a weird bug on overpass which makes the game implode sometimes. Unfortunately, it happens. We should be getting back into that very quickly indeed. So t TSM are stomping on teams. They are, yeah. They yeah, are stopping yeah. on teams. So, I mean, you can't even focus too much on Titan, maybe. But you could, I mean, it's very clear that Existence is trying certain specific things. I mean, that pistol round was, was wild compared to what we're used to seeing. Yeah. Um, and the, the round that I think we just saw, just the general formation of the CTs focusing away from the... They're focusing away from, like, upper towards connector, but not necessarily holding down short B, which is where you see those monitors coming in from TSM. You saw that one run where... Uh, RPK pushed through it, but uh, again, very, very interesting things happening here. We are into the pistol round in the second half now, 13-2, but the other way round to we're used to seeing against uh, less well-versed teams on this map. Yeah, there's actually another point I can, I can make about TSM's dominance and how it can affect them, um, but we can go into that later. We have a fast round from TSM. Pushing the fountain, the water feature has been compromised. 
Carrigan is going to get two headshots, and TSM are going to decide that they're going to win the round, James. And the round is going to be won. We decree this round to be won yep. by us. Indeed. And so Titan have to force by. There is no other play in a spot like this. It just is not, to be honest. Because if they save again, they get like an extra nineteen hundred dollars, probably the fourteen hundred that they would have there. So yeah, that doesn't re <laughs> doesn't really make much of a difference. So you want to get two force buys in there. No nades. No nades. What do you do here? What would you do? What would you do? Five man boost somewhere. Why are they all in the water, James? Are they taking, are they a, picture? taking a picture? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're taking a picture. TSM boys. They're, what the hell are they doing at the moment? This is awesome. I, I, I love how we both thought both exactly the same thing. You see it on Reddit all the time, that's why. Alright, well, let's see what Titan can do here. TSM team seem to be very comfortable. Got the, uh, the velvet jackets on, the slippers, the fine socks, the cashmere jumpers. But it's 3 versus 3. Titan in control of the site, unsurprisingly, considering TSM's formation in that round. Now Titan just waiting for them to try and make their way back. So we may have a few more rounds yet. Yeah. TSM I mean, clearly feel like they have no chance of losing here. Yeah. It's, to be honest, it's kind of a cute play because if you got all these guys in water and Titan, let's say they did actually just rush bum rush B, as a lot of teams would on a, a force by like that. Surprise. Yeah. That's. <laughs> I mean. The whole hey. family's here. We have got your aunts, your uncles. They brought those biscuits from Scotland. They make your mouth really dry. Let's go. Yeah, I, I still think, uh, I don't know if that would even be that great of a defense with all these guys stuck in the water, but anyway, force by out of TSM, you can't count them out, you can't take this for granted, they're going to get in the flank as well, this is actually brilliant for TSM, they might fight the distraction they need to get the frags, it's a 2-1-3 now, uh, in the favor of Titan still, but in comes Device, can't stop it, gets one Deegan from range, oh my god, this is, uh, oh he's going to find one, it's even a bit of a wallbang clipping through the floor there, a few more players to find. Oh, there it is. He will go, go down. All 14, the way down. 14-4, 14-4. 14, 14, and uh, TSM in the safe. And they're actually still buying a little bit. They're buying a little bit too much, actually. You can see the money's going a little bit too low here. I almost feel like they have decided that they will dictate to when this match will end. Yeah, kind of. But arrogance can lead you to not to the bad places, Dan. To the dark side. I suppose that's one place it could lead to. So shocks on the uh, anti eco here. He's doing what Dupree was doing earlier. Close quarters, clearing out the uh, connector with the dirt devil. Ooh, that jumping ding! <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> so three plays left for TSM. That's not a thing, by the way. Jumping P90 being like I'm just accurate. Yeah, jumping T90 bird with sweeping crosshair. I wonder that sometimes, because when you see people, like, the, the whole thing with the recoil, right, is that when you're jumping, it, it's, it's, like, incredibly random that, like, the, the cloud of bullets that are possible is just so, so huge that for it to actually be at the center of your crosshair when you're, when you're jumping is, like, so rare. But I see it happen. I guess you always remember. It's the all times too it common, that. Yeah, you remember the times it happens, don't you? Because you'd never expect it, and you never remember the times when it doesn't happen. Challenge coming into the onside more or less immediately, but the assemble be looking to clean things up with these balances very easily. Four kills straight away. I don't even know what happened there, James. That looked a little bit weird. They pressed the win button, Dan. Yeah, they, I guess they did. I guess they did. So Zipnik's on the Zipnik's on the AWP now. It's like let's just ha let's just all orp at some point during the map. Is the uh, is the play here? I actually thought that he would be the one guy that would would never actually pick it up even in this situation. I thought he's like going to be the serious guy. He's like guys, you, you know, messing around too much. You know, because he he has like the vibe of the serious guy on the team. One of the serious guys. Well, we'll see how this goes. I think Smith just jumped over a player and Dupree's going to turn around and take him down. That is not something you see every day. Definitely need like a Matrix replay of that clip. So, oh, Carrigan going to get taken down by the 180 headshot of screen. Dogs has got himself in a good position and he's going to be able to uh, advance onto the fights here. Four versus two, Zipmix and Dupree. Zipmix with the Orb, of course. 
Going for the shot, gonna miss it. And Tuck's gonna try and advance on this position, but the CZ spam will prove victorious. Yeah, I almost thought he's gonna throw the AWP away there for the AK after shooting it once and missing the shot, but Scream is in now, so they've managed to actually bring this back to a 2 on 2, have TSM. And of course, they're on match point as well. And Zipnix for that AWP will be the key guy in holding this for TSM to win the map. And the, well, the match. He's gonna hear the runny, he's gonna hear the. Uh, the plant. Oh, great nade. That's going to force his out with the incendiary as well. As soon as might just get this done all by himself, he's just got Scream to deal with, and Scream is already looking for the player that could be rotating on high. But will they find him in time? Scream in with the first shot. Get the headshot that he desires. And there is the trade from Dupree. And that's going to be that TSM. They win 16 5 again, James. It's the second time now against Titan on Overpass with a new lineup. But they've, they've had this result. And the interesting thing is that Titan. In the first one, actually picked this map against them, I do believe. So they both picked overpass. TSM 16 fired them both times. You have to wonder what Titan vetoed against TSM. Yep. Maybe Dust 2, but then what's the second map? I don't know. Seems that overpass might be the one to veto in future. We're going to have TSM at home again, this time against Nip. And uh, speak of the devil, they have picked Dust 2 against them. That will be coming up in about 15 minutes, so stay tuned for that. Meanwhile, we will, we will go to a break, set up the match, and see you back here very soon.